was that I have nothing to say to you you know no. was, you know wait I, I had a random thought in my head you know mm-hmm. what I mean I was just I was I was on social media the other day mm-hmm. right and I was just scrolling you know what I mean you know how social media be and I came up to this one post of somebody doing good. You know, they were like, I think they just started their own business, whatnot. Okay. I was just going through the comments. You know, sometimes some videos go viral, some don't. Some pictures go. It just, you yeah. know how Instagram is. And their little post went viral, which is fine. And it was like a lot of positivity. Like, a lot of people were like, hey, good job. And I keep going. And then I see a shit ton of negativity. Like, people just bashing for no reason. And I'm just like, what y'all be like doing? Like, saying what, though? Like, fuck your business. Like, Jesus. oh, this shit ain't gonna do sh-. Like, out of nowhere. It, the, Internet trolls. That's what I'm saying. I'm just, like, people really just be hating for no reason. Just, yeah. And it just doesn't make sense to me, I guess. I mean, I, I, I can see why people want to hate or troll because there is a... Because they just make fake pages just to make negative comments. Facts. Facts. And nobody follows them. They just follow thousands of people. Yeah. I don't know. Just to be a troll. It's just, y'all, just, 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 just get some help. You know what I mean? Or be positive. It's just. That's. They think that that's gonna make themselves feel better. Real talk. With their own lives. Hundred percent. And it doesn't. It it really doesn't. And though you'll get the people where you'll reply and be like, "Oh, good for you," like you know the, uh, that don't phase me. And they'll just keep going, keep going, yeah. keep going. I feel I'm like if like, you do reply to them, then. That's what they want. That's what they want, or they'll block you, or. They like want to get you riled up yeah so if when i reply with some sarcastic shit they don't like that yeah facts they ended, I, up, they ended up blocking me <laughs> there's one guy that does the troll i think you told me about him like if people comment stupid shit or whatever whatever or like a bad facebook book post i came across his page again the other day he will I find you guy. yes oh my goodness he'll find you and he will troll the fuck out of you yeah or oh, he'll oh, make shit. his own he'll make whole yeah no i think he'll actually make like specific accounts copying oh yeah brand accounts or copying whatever <laughs> Fact. when people have negative shit to say on a, a legit company's page he'll make a new company's page yeah. to, to pretend to be them and comment back some shit that yeah. will piss them off even more yeah, like, that's the type of trolling i like yeah like he goes like that's his job i feel like but he goes out his way if somebody's trolling <laughs> mcdonald's he was like hello this is the uh, ceo of mcdonald's i just want to reach out to you <laughs> Um, we hear where you're coming from about the ice cream machines <laughs> being down, and uh, we we want to help. You know what I mean? That and, shit to and me. And then people just, will be people will be like, "For real, McDonald's? Like, I can't believe this is how you." And it's his troll page that yeah. they're responding to. Just, just, good just, times. yeah, just good times, good shit. But back to the good, the juicy, the substance. The juicy. The juicy, the substance. Right. The DMs. We only got seven today. Oh, okay. Keeping it light, you know. Hmm. First one. Let's see. They keep it light. <laughs> you got too many followers, and that's annoying. How the fuck would I reach out to you? <laughs> we started off, I think, lost, puzzled. I mean, I don't even, like. How are you mad at me yeah, for, for having a following? And clearly, you reached out because you sent a message. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we got it. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, it's. I don't think it's the following, big dog. So, yeah. I responded cash app. Oh, after you? Oh, okay. Still ain't got no cash app notification, so. Mm, I, Guess I he didn't want to take my advice and uh I swear if, if if Clearly, he didn't take my advice. If everybody who DM'd you sent you a dollar? Sheesh. That's I'd a be, crazy thing. I I'd be a multi-millionaire. That shit is crazy to me. Like if you just think about it. If everybody sent you one dollar who slid in your DM, mm. depending on your DMs or whatnot, mm-hmm. you'd be set. For real. And it's, it's a, I'm not asking for twenty. I think I'm there's apps for, for there's apps like that. Yeah, hundred percent. I have to pay you to message you. hundred percent. I seen some or even the trend on TikTok where it's like, oh, if thirty k of you watch this video and send me a, a dollar. dollar, I could pay off my car. Yeah. Car paid off. Shit. Damn, sounds good. Mm. I need five hundred dollars. <laughs> Damn, that's it. I should have went higher. I said five hundred. Lowballing yourself, I, I guess. All right, let me get a thousand. All right, next message. 
Good morning, beautiful. You're so hot. Okay, positive. Cool. And cool. then yeah. hour and 30 <laughs> minutes later. Oh. Good morning, dad, juicy, you sexy, juicy thing, you. I'm lost on the good morning, dad. Is she your father now? That um. Who's your daddy, you know? Me. Hmm. I feel it. Mm, this brother right here. <laughs> you, 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 mm. you like the, dad the woman juicy, to be the dad, huh? Sexy, juicy thing, you. Okay, positive, positive. Positive? Positive. Would you respond to this if you got a message like this? No, I'm not responding to none of these, but positive. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. I want to be up in your soul for real. I feel like that's something I would, I would maybe say that, but not really. I would change it up a little bit. You know, I wouldn't say I want to be up in your soul. I mean, I, I wouldn't send that as a first message, though. Well, that's feel what like, he did. I know, obviously. You replied, huh? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, I mean, looking at the profile picture, there's a 50-50 <laughs> chance that that might be your type. Um, so. I'm not, I don't remember what he looks like. Yeah, I bet you don't. I don't. Yeah, send that reply. I have not replied. Yeah, stop all that, Captain. But no, nah, listen, this is positive. Positive. He's a, you want up to be in all, your soul? Yeah. And brother wants to feel your soul. Now, like I said, it, it's not a good first message, but I promise you, if that was Anthony Joshua that said that shit, you would have been... I'd be like, okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it's not... It just depends on who it is, not the message itself. No. Yes, you just matters. You just admitted... That's Anthony Joshua. Come on, stop. Stop blowing me. So if a 6'9", 200... Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. 6'9", 280-pound man... I still would be like, what kind of message is this? No, you you would be like... I hope so. <laughs> yeah, face ass. Stop lying. You know what I mean? Talk about no, it. I feel like the message would have to be better than that. Yeah, uh, she say that then. Because <laughs> that's just on. like sexual off the bat, up in your soul. Jesus Christ. Listen, sometimes that works for girls. Sometimes that doesn't. I mean, I think nowadays, I could be totally wrong, but I think it's a 50-50 chance nowadays that if you go into, if, if you go into a first match is sexual, it's either going to go good or going to go bad. But I feel like nowadays it's gonna it's a fifty fifty. Now, do I do that? No, because I just feel like that's just you can't go wrong with just going. Well, no, you can't actually. Because I had one girl where I sent a DM, uh -huh. right? It was something just basic. Like, hey, how you doing? She was like, dry. I was like, I feel like that's better than I want to be up in your soul. Yeah, but her reply was dry. But her, then, oh, her reply. Her was reply dry. Was I thought dry. you said she messaged you back, dry. No. no well, yeah. No, she did Well, I said like that. Like she said the word dry. Yeah, she was like, oh, that's dry. Okay, so you're confusing the fuck out of me right now? How? I sent the message <laughs> saying, hey, how's your day? Mm -hmm. Right? She replies, that's right. dry. Okay. Yeah. That, to me, I'm just like, so you wanted me to say, you know, let she me She wanted be, some razzle-dazzle. But like what, like, what is razzle-dazzle? Like, give me an example of razzle-dazzle. I don't dazzle. fucking exactly. know. I'm not the expert. Exactly. I'm not the one saying dry. So ask her. Nah, I blocked her. Yeah, but yeah. block was getting longer by the day, huh? Yeah, every day. It went from last week, it was fine. You know, what, you know they say that men that block women are sassy. I, I haven't said this. I've just seen <laughs> this all no, over TikTok. I didn't bring it out of It's sassy. Sassy to block. That's what they say. I mean, no, I don't think so. I mean, I'll be blocking people. <laughs> yeah, we know. But I don't think I'm sassy, though. They think it's a sassy. Like, what's the definition of sassy? Sassy. Like, but, like, no, nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not fucking with that. Uh, do I got a little fire to me? Yes, but sassy. <laughs> so fire, but not sass. No, nah, I just, I, I just don't like. I don't it's think a sassy move in some people's opinions. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, he blocked me. He's sassy. You know what I mean? No, nah, it's just me, me not putting up with the bullshit. Sassy. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about that word. I mean, it's nothing wrong. It's just wrong a word with it. you don't like. No, it's a word. I feel if like they're that's, like, "Ooh, he's fiery. He blocked me." Yeah, like I feel like, like if that, I was, I feel like fiery the is the equivalent to sassy. But like, if you're sassy, I'd be like, "Oh, you sassy." But if I'm sassy, you'd be like, "Oh, you fiery." You wouldn't say, "Oh, you're sassy." I say sassy. I just don't know. All right, next one. <laughs> we have to talk about that later. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Same message, uh, three times, but basically. Gorgeous, sexy, beautiful, future milf, big milky tits. Mm. Milky tits. Big milky tits. Big milk jugs. Interesting. Yeah. Don't, same don't, message three times. Yeah. Three separate occasions. Same copy paste. Listen, listen, MJ, I don't know where you was going with this one. 
um maybe just change it up maybe like, how, did, how of, would you expect if you sense it to a girl how do you expect me to respond thank you yeah maybe uh or get blocked future milf big milky tits thank you well let's look at the pictures that you posted though like the the yeah the, they're no the se- the last one no but the the middle one okay l- look let's zoom in z okay <laughs> you know and he's not wrong i got titties what do you want me to do hide them no no i just should not but it's not a it's not a not a bad compliment i just think he should have changed it up at after three times that's one. what he responds to every single story that he comments i ain't never seen no picture filter with a phone hold, you, like that's you holding it's the phone, a phone, holding the phone like, it's a gif oh that's interesting. On top of my picture. Interesting. You learn new things every day. You don't know shit about social media. Nah, I really don't. At all. I'm trying my best. I don't even know how to fucking edit. Uh, let's, let's yeah. Let's topic for a different Yeah, day. we know. No, I do, Zeke. Don't he play He does me. it. I could, I could do a little bit Where's of Where's that one edit you were requesting and I told listen, you how sometimes, to do it? Listen, here's the thing. Sometimes they be putting too many fucking buttons. Like, just make it simple, okay? I'm trying to cut and paste. That's it. I'm trying to cut and paste and put some captions. It's not that hard. <laughs> But fuck. It is hard for you. Yeah. But fuck. Real y'all got hard. all these little different buttons, all these different captions, stickers, gifs, gifs, biffs, tiffs. Who fucking knows? Fuck. I'll teach a class. I told my parents who are, you know, almost 70 that I would teach them a class about social media. So you can join them. No, nah, I'll start off with the advanced course. <laughs> that's a, That sounds like a beginner's course. I had course to teach my dad how to do a boomerang. I, you know I know my you know I know how to do he's it. like how do I do it I'm like well go to your Instagram no you should have just sent them to me because I'm no, no. <laughs> my boom range be fire because, you know why because him and my mom sent me a video of what cheersing but just pulling away but not the boomerang oh just the video just the video you would do for what a boomerang <laughs> he's like where do, I, where do I get the boomerang I'm like go to your Instagram go to the camera Jesus. click on the boomerang at least they're trying and you can though. save it without posting it and he's like okay at least they're trying. Oh my I think my, my, my parents, my mother has never really been big on social media, but my father, he's getting the hang of oh, this shit. Oh, your dad is Mr. He, he Facebook Live. Facebook Live. He'll go on there. Daily posting. Daily he should post. be an influencer. Fuck no. You give him you give him an audience. Boy. <laughs> he won't know how to like, act. He's going to feel like Obama. Oh, God. Jeez. He's going to be won't crazy. Won't know how to act. Next you know, Barack the second over there just giving speeches on Facebook. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Let him us. live. No, I am. You know what I'm saying? I just don't entertain it. All right. Next message says, hey, Ruby, you look awesome and curvy figure. Keep maintain your body like a Harley Davidson. Okay. We, we, we missed something important on this one. That, that the one right above it, I'm, I'm, it has caught my attention that this brother said queen like ultra pro max. I... <laughs> I just picked the best one. No, but the Ultra Pro the one Max above is it, this. You look more and more sexier by, day by day. <laughs> Queen Ultra Pro, like Ultra Pro Max, unbelievable. I, I listen, brother's sending good vibes. I gotta maintain my body like a Harley Davidson. He has a point there. You gotta make not you, but I'm saying <laughs> Harley Davidson is is uh-huh. a is a fine motorcycle brand. You know what I'm saying? Gotta gotta. There goes one now. No, one hundred percent. That definitely. No, that was a Harley Davis for sure. <laughs> that shit right there was moving. That's crazy how that shit was. You know. But no, you got to take care of your Harley. You know what I'm saying? You got to mm-hmm. take care of your Harley. You got to clean it. You got to wash it. You got to fix up. You know, if it needs an oil change, oil change. Hmm. Just like Aubrey gets an oil change. God you know damn, saying? excuse me. <laughs> I mean, your oil change is different than. What's my oil change? I think an oil change for a lady would be more like a. You ever do a colonic? No. That probably would be it. Jesus Christ. What's wrong? How often do people do colonics? I think maybe like once a year. Once a year. All right. Or once every six months. Because that's really when you do an oil change in a sense. Oh, my God. Once every six. You don't do no oil change? I don't change? like that comparison at all. Have you ever done a colonic? No. Really? Never. I'm just supposed to be really good for you. It helps for a bloating. I'm good. Thank you. Oh, no. I wasn't saying you needed one. I was just saying you could do one. I don't like a comparison, but... I'm Anyways, not a great person. Harley Have Davidson, you ever baby. done one? <clears throat> Colonic? Yeah. No, nah, I ain't exactly. sticking shit in my butt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, you, you yeah. Uh, next. But eventually you have to. No, that's a prostate exam. 
No. I don't have to do a colonic. Colonoscopy. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You have to do. You're right. I said prostate exam. You have to do a colon. <laughs> <laughs> you have Wait. To do, don't they do that? You have to do a a, a a fucking. For prostate exams, don't they? What do they do? I don't. I ain't had no prostate exam. I'm too young. Hmm. Okay. I don't know these things. I'm asking questions. No, I, I but uh, a colonoscopy, <laughs> yes, you know, you have to do it at some point. Eventually, yeah, when yeah. you get older. Yeah. yeah, when the time comes, I will do that. I will mentally prepare myself for that. <laughs> but I I haven't got there yet. You know what I mean? So not voluntarily. Hmm? You're just not going to stick anything in your ass voluntarily. No, why would I do that? I know. I'm just yeah, saying. No, no. I'm agreeing with you. No, Don't get defensive. No. no. And I'm also, you know, taking precautions for because colon cancer is on a rise for younger people. 100%. Okay. It is a research. And no, 100%. Colon, colon cancer is on the rise for younger people. And I've taken some precautions in terms of foods that I eat and whatnot to try and help benefit that. Okay. And I'm cutting back on red meat. You don't have to. Oh, God. No, really. I'm going more of the chicken and fish route. All right. Thank you for that health update. No problem. Make sure you eat your mixed nuts. And when I say, listen, when I say mixed nuts, I mean done like, and done. I, no, I mean like mixed nuts from Costco or like pistachios, you know, peanuts, you know, cashews. Come on now, don't 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 get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> all right, just mixed m- nuts. Mixed nuts. Make sure right? you eat your mixed nuts. No, hundred percent. They're very healthy. Good and good, good fats. Good fats. Anyways, right. <clears throat> thank you again for that. Yeah, no problem. All right, next message Help is well. a comment on my YouTube channel. They said, never saw an ass I wanted to kiss more. OMG. Hmm. Okay. Positive. Positive. Positivity. Positive. Make sure you subscribe to the OnlyFans. <laughs> For real. Next is not mine, just so you all know. Yeah, we know. He said, trying. Wait, what was the, the um, thing he replied to? I said, make a man show you, not tell you, because they'll tell you anything. Facts. He said, trying. I said, try harder. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a statement, though, that, that, no, we definitely. And this is a man that I met Super Bowl week, okay? Uh-huh. Then messaged me, like, a little bit after Super Bowl week, but he will take a week to respond to me, then a month, then two months, and then it was, like, or whatever. It's been, like, six months and I'm responding right away, okay? And then he sends me a message, like, th- right before this, talking about how he he didn't think I was interested. Bitch, you're the one not responding. Not me. Then he responds to this, I'm trying. Fuck out of here. I mean. Try harder. I don't see no effort. Y'all in this effort. Um, yes. Yeah, no, I'm not. If you're not, if, you're, if someone's messaging you, you respond right away. Or same day at least, and they take a week, a month, four months to respond. Come on, that's not yeah, but, trying. Okay, but that energy should. That's should not be, trying. That energy should be vice versa though, as long as we're on, like for what ladies too. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I feel like some ladies, when guys are putting energy, they'll be like, "Oh, you're too persistent." Too persistent? Yes, yeah, so I've seen that shit. No, that's the thing. Someone too says persistent? you're too persistent is if they're not interested. A hundred percent. So say you're not interested, so a brother can move. Right, move but he about he tried to blame me and say he thought I wasn't interested. But yeah, well, you was the, replying though, but right? But he's the one not replying. True, but you was replying to when he replied. So, so trying, text you. saying he's trying is bullshit. I said try harder. Facts. Try harder, partner. Try harder. Try it all. And honestly, you listen. I, I'm. I could be be you know a a, a word of guidance for you. <laughs> you got to try harder because you're probably starting at the bottom of the totem pool. You know what I mean? You're probably at a ten when there's nine more in front of you. Okay, so you have to do something to stand out. And if you don't, well, then you're just gonna get bumped to the G League, and that's just another ten down. You know what I'm saying? So it's just you got a lot of work to do. And you right think now, there's nine or ten in front of them. Uh, in front of this dude on your roster, absolutely. I don't really have a roster. Stop lying. There we go, Captain Early. No, you, 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 you. Your roster. My roster is wide open. No, it's not. It's it's wide open for open slots to add yes. to the roster. Yeah, hundred percent. There's nobody on it. But you have a full roster. Who? Who? <laughs> I don't know who you're fucking listing in your mind right now. No, you, you I don't my head. have. Dating wise, I do have no roster. Dating wise, you don't have a roster. Who? Who am I dating? Bleep all these names. I'm finna just go through them. Bleep them all. Dating. 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 I haven't seen him since Super Bowl. 
He's a sneaky link. Sneaky link. Oh, uh, I don't. Uh, uh, I, that's I haven't seen him in eight months. Um, who else? Fuck, there was another motherfucker. Uh, I haven't seen him in two years. But he's still on the roster. No, I don't talk uh, to him. Uh, let's two see. years. Let's see, there's somebody else. God, RIP. Ew, that was two, three years ago. This You're listing roster. people I haven't seen in at least. Six months to two years, and I don't talk to consistently. That ain't not that they're not on the roster. And they're not dating potential. Damn it, sad. So exactly, I have no roster. That's a roster. Stop playing with me. But yeah, try harder. Jesus try Christ! Harder. I don't know why you think people from two years ago are still on a roster. That's insane. That's I don't talk good, to these people. That's gonna be a good short clip if he bleeps out all of them. And <laughs> bleep, no, bleep, 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 just start bleep 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 bleep. bleep. <laughs> No, you've been trying to send me all these, all these clips and all these what? screenshots of studies. Oh yeah. So, so today, what? What is your research brought so us? So there today? we have a study, <clears throat> study with Mike T, presented by Mike T. Uh, new study reveals that sex is as good or better than a sleeping pill. No wonder I ain't been sleeping well. Shit, me too. Damn, I thought it was the melatonin that was supposed to hit, but it, that shit was not hitting. Sex hits different. So I guess, I guess, based on the study that you know, survey says that seventy five percent of people report that when they orgasm, they sleep ten times better than when they take a sleeping pill. I I would agree with that. That's crazy though. I think I mean, but that makes sense though, because the times that I sex you know, is part of like self care. Okay, no, 100%. I, I hate I hate to break it to you. There's so many people against whatever, but like, orgasming is part of self care. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I agree, and I think I I can speak for the times that I have. Excuse me. Oh my god, I what couldn't. The fuck was I that? couldn't, bro. That shit was just coming up. I tried to hold it, but it just couldn't hold it. But now, <clears throat> speaking of the times that I, you know, have, I was sleeping like a baby. Like I slept so yes. goddamn good. Like my eyes were so droopy. I was just, yes. Wake up. I was like, what, what planet am I on? You know what I'm saying? So uh -huh. shit was just fire. Shit was just fire. Sex has a lot of benefits. Obviously, there are some downsides depending on who you fuck with or yeah. if you're careful or not. But yeah. And energy wise, I still energy think energy wise, that's 100. A, yeah, I but still, still think that's a, I think self care, even if it's you doing it to yourself, like orgasming is a part of self care. I think it's important, and I get it if you're not. That's not your thing, but sleep wise, and and you know, other things that happen when you orgasm, I feel like it's beneficial. Facts, I think so, but I do. I think for guys, I think guys are a little different than girls when it comes to self orgasm uh -huh. because like for example for me i feel like when i'm when i'm done you know what i'm saying i just not disgusted but i'm just like why did i do that you know what i mean by yourself yeah by myself oh. yeah, yeah yeah i'm just why are you disgusted not disgusted but sometimes like is it because when you, you is it because you watch porn yeah in a sense i'm just like sometimes not not disgusted but you're just like <laughs> it's not the same uh -huh. you know what i mean it's like it's just not the same like i don't sleep as well i feel like Okay, yeah, I get that. Uh, you know what I mean? I, it's I, different when it's somebody else. Yeah. With somebody else. When you're with someone else, totally different vibes. As long as the energy is good or whatnot. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you're, like, doing it by yourself, it's just like, man, I, I didn't need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just like, I would have slept better if I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, it really just depends. But hmm. So, with somebody is better. 100%. It makes you, helps you sleep better. Oh, 100%. 100%. I'd be sleeping... So that's that's why I ain't have a good sleep in almost two years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in a year. But it also depends on energy with the person. Oh, lying ass. 100%. No, but like, because you can have sex and it'd be awful and you're just well, yeah. like, I need you. Good. Yeah, I need you to leave. You know what I mean? Like, get up yeah. out of my house. <laughs> no, 100%. There's sometimes you. I feel you, like that's you. For me, there's sometimes if, if I sleep with you and it doesn't, I don't, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling that energy or uh -huh. whatever it may be. I'm be like, listen, you got you got to go. You gots to go. I just can't because I can't have you next to me in this bed. The energy is not there. And it's just, it's not like. That's not good. No, I don't say it's it, because it's different when it's then good. why are you sleeping with them if you can't even stand sleeping next to them? Well, no, I'm saying like after the fact, the, the, the sex portion of it, the energy, the connection just wasn't there in that process. But it took you sleeping with them to realize that? No, I think it, the sex is right. what. And, but then. 
Is it because you don't have a connection up front? I think I think I didn't have as much connection as I thought I did, in a sense. And I feel like sometimes when you get intimate, you can kind of really feel if there's a connection, more connection or not. Uh-huh. I could be totally wrong, but that's just me. You okay. know what I mean? And I, I, I'll be frank with you. If if I can't, you know, if I can't sleep, if I can't sleep soundly with you in my bed, I, you, you got to go. Because mm-hmm. I ain't going to sleep. And there's no point in me wasting sleep. You know what I mean? You know, mm. I only sleep six hours. I need a quality six. You know what I mean? And all you really need is six to seven hours. You'll be good. Um, Men. Our, women need more. Well, you get at least 15 and fucking hours I do not get 15. That's what it seems like. I just be up. You can tell I ain't getting none. I just be up till 3 a.m. One night last week, I was up till 7 a.m. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I could stay up forever, but to sleep, to sleep or to wake up early, hell no. What the fuck? It's just not my thing. I'm, I, I've always been more of a night person than a morning, you know, person. Wake up early and just get ready for the day. Fuck, it's just never been my thing. I like, I like, I like getting up early and get ready for the day. I like that. Dude, I dang. think, I think I'm going to start, I'm going to really try and challenge myself to get up at like 4.30 every day and just start my day at 4.30. But Good for you. That's probably not gonna happen. I say that next, you know, knocked out at eleven o'clock. Well, maybe if you get consistent sex, you'll knock out earlier. Mm-hmm. Highly, highly on regular. But right. also, there's another study uh, that cats have parasites, <laughs> and these parasites make you depressed, make you want to eat, make you want to fat. No, make you fat. It's it's just it's it's a whole bunch of stuff. So when I tell you I hate cats, there's a reason for it. Yeah, Isn't but it's it, it's called the cat parasite. It gets in humans. You missed that that key factor. Thank you. It's also called the cat parasite that gets in humans. You know what I mean? It's not in cats. No, it's no, it, it's in it's cats. It's in cats and it that gets transfer in humans. Overs yes. to humans. Yes, and then you have the cat parasite. So if you have a cat, most likely you have a cat parasite. And if you have a cat parasite, well, that may answer why you're binge eating. That may answer why you're depressed. <laughs> You know, that may answer why, you know, your boyfriend's cheating on you. I don't know. It could be a numerous of things. You know what I'm saying? But. I hate when you say a numerous. A numerous? A number of. A number of? Yeah. A numerous. Or just numerous, no a. Uh. Numerous. <laughs> why did you say it like that? Because that's what it is. You don't need a uh in front of it. N- a numerous. <laughs> I put a uh in front of everything almost. <laughs> I was like a, a helper. You can say a, a number word. of or yeah, just I feel numerous. Like, I feel like uh is like a helping word. A numerous. It's, it's a number. Like you saw I see a number. Yeah, a numerous, that makes sense. An apple. See? <laughs> an apple. Thing. Yes, it is. An apple. It's just the grammar. Just uh, a cat. Keep, keep it you know, pushing. Uh, a dog. A numerous of. A, a numerous of Costco's. <laughs> a numerous of Wendy's. Like that's that's no, a that's a thing. Keep it rolling. That's is that not a thing? A number of or just numerous. A numerous. A numerous. No, no. You see my face? I'm so serious. Like yeah, this is, we know you've been saying it this entire podcast. Yeah. for years. A numerous of things, which there is no issue with that Jesus. at all. Jesus. You no, know, speaking. I'm just of, looking out for you. Yeah, speaking of numerous. Okay, there's a numerous of things that people wear that just be pissing me the fuck off. Mm-hmm. And we have one. We have a common interest in one. Obviously, we spoke about this before. Coin purse. No, it's That's, no, it's it's not things that piss us off. It's things people wear for attention. Oh, sorry. A numerous of things of things oh that God. people wear for a attention. A numerous of things of things. A numerous of things, things of things of things that people wear to get attention, which could be a lot of things. So, what is one thing that people wear to get attention? <laughs> oh. Th- I don't come for me for this, right? But I feel like this is an attention seeker. If you're if you're in Chuck E. Cheese with your family, okay? <laughs> you know, you brought your kids to Chuck E. Cheese, okay? Ain't no fucking way you need that whole ass headset with the mic <laughs> as you're fucking there. Now, don't get the me wrong. Bluetooth yeah, headphone. the Bluetooth, like the like you are selling insurance twelve for a twelve hour shift, right? Because you know how some people don't want to be on the phone. I understand that. Mm-hmm. Ain't no way, brother, you need to be in Chuck E. Cheese while your daughter is celebrating her fifth birthday. You ought to fucking call. Hey, how you doing, John? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm like, we're at Chuck E. Cheese. You know? Yeah, no, we're at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, just chilling. Why you got the headset on? <laughs> like, what, what are you, Mark Zuckerberg? Is, uh, starting a, co- a, a conference? Like, fuck. Hmm. So, yes, that's one of them. The headset. I'd say something that people wear for attention would be those 
big red Astro boots. Yeah. I just that came around and everyone was wearing that shit. Young, old, whatever. Those are like obnoxious red mischief Astro boots. I just I just they're cool. Like you're looking for attention. I mean I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them, but if you're wearing that shit, come on. It's fashion though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't care. But like I get what you're saying though. You know I mean? You're not it, wearing that to blend in. No facts. You're looking for attention. If, if listen, if anybody can speak on wearing shit for attention, it'd be Kanye West. That is one brother right there that will wear shit for attention. Which you know, yeah, I fuck with That's Yeezys. His thing. You know what I'm be saying? Yeah, and but out of pocket. The last fit that he had on, <laughs> brother looked like he was preparing to be the linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens. You know what I'm saying? Like, and his wife, she looked like. <sighs> I don't even like that she had a stocking over her, like a pantyhose <laughs> over her head. She was about to, you know, fish with, you know, deep sea fish. Like, I don't know. I don't understand sometimes. But if that's what y'all call fashion, I'm not, I'm, right. you know, who am I to judge? That's fine. Who am I to judge? Okay. You already mentioned coin purses. Yep. You're definitely looking for attention with a dangly coin purse. A hundred percent. Um, I'd say people who wear clothes that just don't fit. I, I disagree. Like giant, super oversized, or like super tiny. I could, for example, men in ultra skinny jeans that are almost <laughs> borderline jeggings, jean leggings for women, uh, where it's it's like this, but it looks like jeans. Yeah, I mean, on men, I I, I have skinny jeans, but they're not like. No, they're not suctioned. Yeah, to like, I like a little like leggings. I like them when they're like they're they're good fit here, but like they're they're breathable in a sense. But sometimes, you know, I got a partner. You know, he he wears skinny jeans, Jesus and them Christ. them things so goddamn tight. I'd be like, bro, can you breathe? Right. Like, goddamn, bro, you do one squat, it's over for your ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, right? You know, you try lunge, it's over for your ass. You reach over to the bar, try to grab something, it's over. Like, mm -hmm. bro. Get some bigger pants. Like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? But no, I, I would agree. Mm -hmm. Ultra skinny jeans. The oversized tee, though, I wear oversized tees. Not tees. like normal oversized. I'm talking, talking about like, like something that's ridiculous. Like from the early big. 2000s. So that type of fit. Oh, but in the early 2000s. But, 2000, now, was, but now. But now, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no, it's 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 too big. Too, too big. big. You know, yeah, listen, if you want to wear oversized, just go one size up of what you would normally wear. Yeah. Like, that's what I do. I it's wear... a little looser. Yeah, sometimes I buy 3XL, sometimes I buy 2XL. It all just depends. But, yeah, no, nah, don't, 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 don't do too much. Don't do too much. All right, people who wear dirty forces, dirty white forces. <sighs> well, I think we spoke Definitely looking before, for attention. I don't, like... Because you'll get it. You know how many people post videos of girls with dirty white forces when they're out in public? I think... It's disrespectful. <laughs> I think it just angers me more than anything, just to see dirty shoes, dirty shoes. And don't get me wrong, you know, we all get dirty shoes. But, but I feel like white forces. No, white forces. Just, you have to keep your white forces clean. Yeah, but some people think it's a trend to keep them dirty Ugh, all the time. No. And I don't understand that. And y'all are y'all are looking for attention, for sure. For sure. Y'all are looking for attention. You know what I'm saying? Who else? What's mm -hmm. another thing? What's something some else? Some people, <clears throat> I got some suggestions, too. And they said people who wear bucket hats. No. That's you. I got a bucket hat on right here. Like <laughs> exactly. That's no. I don't. Attention. Bucket hat is a nice one. Someone line. said that they said, "quote Nobody looks good in bucket hats." That's not true. I I I I, I, I put together some nice fits with a bucket hat. Have you? Yeah, that fit right there. Gas. Come on now. We could put up a picture of me in a bucket hat. That shit was fire. Hmm. Fire. Were you looking for attention? No, I was just wearing a bucket hat. <laughs> I'm saying. Bucket hat, not that bad. Uh -huh. I think I, this this will be this will be controversial because I agree with it, but I don't agree. I feel like some people who wear grills that know damn well they shouldn't be wearing grills are looking for attention. Grills, yeah, grills. Mm -hmm. Like I seen, like, one, I cool. seen like for example, back home in Florida, that's that's the norm. A normal, gold, yeah. yeah, gold grills. That's norm, right? Florida shit. Yep. I see some girl up here. I knew she was from Florida. Trust me, I knew. She had a full mouth of grills. So wearing a grill in Scottsdale, it, a a gold one, and I could tell if I could tell that you're not from, like you didn't grow up like that in a sense. And you could listen, you could tell 
when people not from where you from right like depending on how they talk what they what they do what they wear how they say music all types of shit and she was just wearing a, 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 a gold grill and I was just saying top and bottom top and bottom oh Cover. The bottom I can I can see yeah. on occasion. A hundred percent. Top and bottom pushing it. Yeah. And it was gold. There's a difference because you you know sometimes they got the diamond grills, the whatnot. Ones yeah, but she had a gold silver. grill. And I was just like, girl, you know damn well you shouldn't be wearing that shit. <laughs> and then like part of me was like, let me go over there and ask her where she's from. Cause I know she ain't from Florida. I know she ain't from Florida. She probably from- I mean, more than Florida wears grills, right? Who's known for wearing grills? I mean, in terms of cities, Texas? if I if I could if I could if I could throw out some cities slash states, Florida, uh, Gold Grills is a thing. Atlanta, Gold Grills is a thing. Texas and Houston, that's a thing. California anywhere? No, no, no. California is an iffy. I don't mm-hmm. see that's a that's a fifty fifty. New Jersey, y'all wear them grills and them fucking. Who wears grills in Jersey? A lot of people do wear low key DC and Jersey area. They wear grills, but they they you know they a little different out there. You know what I'm saying? You know they grill. I think they do more bottom grills than they do tops. I feel like it's more of a southern thing. But it definitely, it's a Florida thing for sure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But that's you're looking for attention. You know damn well you're not supposed to be having no grills in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, and it's not a. Let me say this too. It's not a white or black thing either, because in Florida we got black people, we got white people, we got Hispanic people, got. Full fledged gold grills in their mouth, uh-huh. and that's normal to us. Oh yeah, she from Florida. She might be white. That girl right there, she from Florida. Mm. You see them edges on fleek. She from Florida. Mm, I just with bought the, a one. Yep. What? Men with slits in their eyebrows are looking for attention. Fuck no! <laughs> it's definitely a Florida thing. You heard me. Four seven to my city. Uh, Stop playing me. See, but I don't say it's an attention seeker. <laughs> Right, I, where I come from, this is the norm. Some Florida now, ass shit. Here, sure. no, don't get me wrong. Here, it is because I've had people be like, "But what's in your eyebrows?" They're like, oh, they slits. I'm like, oh, we don't do that. Here. Yeah, no. I'm like, you kept doing it. I'm like, you're not in Florida anymore. Yeah, but that's where I'm from. I but know. I'm saying like, I understand though. <laughs> like, no, I, my even my barber was like, yeah, we don't do that out here. No. And I was like, really? It was like, nah, not really. It was like, does it mean something different out here? It was like, nah, they just don't re- really be doing that. Florida ass shit. And I was just like, nah, back home, bro, we do that. We do that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And that shit is just normal. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's an attention seeker. You know what I'm saying? I'm it's different a, with know, my slits. That's just what a picture goes on in your mind. No. I'm from Florida. Mm, no. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, I am from Florida. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm so it, it is what it is. I'm representing my city. And like, do your thing, big Yeah, dog. come on now. Stop playing me. All right. I'd say people who buy designer clothes just to say they could buy designer clothes, but Don't just because them. you can afford designer clothes does not mean you have fashion sense or style. 100%. Okay, and, but it's even worse the ones that, like, that shit's expensive, okay? Like, a couple hundred, couple for thousand sure. for a t-shirt and some shorts and maybe the shoes. Like, why are you wearing five grand worth of clothing on your on your body and you live in, you know, you don't have a car and you don't have all this other shit? So when it's like you can't afford that lifestyle, why are you wearing that shit for attention? Yeah, I and mean, And not only that... Yeah. Some of the designer clothes are not a, not good looking. It's not fashionable, right? Just because it's designer does not mean you you know how to put a fit on. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. So I think that a lot of people who wear designer who either can't afford it or can afford it and just think that that gives them a fashion sense. Yeah, no. Are if, doing it for attention. It does. Like, I think, yeah, no, no. Cause like I, you go to the club and you see some people with some designer shirt, you're like, like, don't get me wrong. You're, trying, you're looking for attention. You think that puts you above other people. I mean, there's some fits that are fire, and you know, if you yeah. have the means, you can afford it. 100%. 100%. But then there's some people who just OD with it. Like, Where they buy like this print and this print, and the shoes are printed like three different styles. You know what I mean? Three different prints that don't fucking match just because they're the same designer. Yeah. No. I like, just feel like that doesn't give you style. No, nah, no. Nah. Listen, I've been, I've been styling black t shirts for the longest time. And I ain't never bought no For designer sure. black t-shirt. You know what I mean? It just, I mean, do I need one? No. Like, they look, the, to me, they look the same. Now, they may not feel the same after one wash, but 
They look but you've the same. seen you've seen people that just buy a designer just to just to say just they, to say they can yeah hundred percent and that shit looks goofy as fuck yeah hundred percent hundred percent now I could understand the accessories you know what I mean you're buying you know some accessories that you want to use but like accessories make more sense to me than yeah hundred percent t-shirts and jeans or like shorts, a bag a wallet stuff something like that you can style with shoes multiple maybe things. yeah facts but facts. not one thing you can wear once yeah. and then you wear it all the time facts like I'm not buying no Louis Vuitton scarf. When the fuck I'm gonna wear a scarf? <laughs> the scarf. Yeah. Like the don't get me wrong. I, I the lo- scarf, it looks good. I would agree. It looks good. But bro, you that's come a, you come out in Old Town with a scarf in 110 degree weather <laughs> because it's Christian Dior. You thought you was doing something? You thought you did something, huh? Huh. That's crazy. It'd be totally different if we, if it was in France, Paris or Paris, France. You know what I'm saying? France, On a, Paris, for sure. Yeah. And just enjoying weather. <laughs> you wanted to throw a scarf. Okay, totally different. Which Arizona, in in the middle of summer, with a Christian Dior scarf, mm. like to go with that, I'm gonna say those tiny designer bags. I love those tiny little designer bags. There's like they're like this big. You can fit like a chapstick in it. Lipstick. I see like girls, it's more like a girl's. Yeah, bag, little right? little purses, but oh, they yeah. a purse mini size. I love them. I think they're cute, but. Come on, you can't do anything with them. I think it's a that's more like it's a just like a yeah yeah like but that little dainty ass. But thing, it's for attention because people are gonna look and be like, she can't fit shit in that. Yeah, facts. You yeah. know what I mean? What you gonna put in? A, I think a they're cute, but I still think it's for attention. You can't even fit a debit card in there. Right. You're gonna have to cut out the chip of the it's debit like card the, and put the, the chip female in the version thing. of a coin purse. No. Yeah. No. She can't fit that much in a coin purse for a man. You can't cards fit, wise. You can fit cards in a coin Barely. purse. Depends on which one you get. True. It's got to be a thick coin purse. Thick coin purse. Yeah, like the one that could, you could put a lot of stuff in it. Do you know what these designer coin purses look like? I don't buy coin purses, yeah. so no. I don't I think mean. you do. All right. The other thing, which is kind of obvious that I think people do for wear for attention is sunglasses at night or in the club. Yeah. I don't know, cause you know, I I, I didn't I didn't did that a couple times. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, we know. But like, it was more like I didn't really want people to see my eyes for attention. No, I didn't want people to see my eyes. Anyone who looks at you and you're in the dark or my club is like, is like, the fuck? Why are you wearing sunglasses in the club? You just you never know. You know what I'm saying it's it's you it's, never know what it's part of the fit. It's part of the vibe. Exactly. You're just vibing. You know, I'm just like prime example. Looking vibing for in the attention. club with some sunglasses. What's there ain't no issues with that all? I'm aware. You're part of the problem. No. Listen, I'm not part of the problem. You know what I mean, but stop like if if I can leave you with any advice, stop buying the the scarves. Okay? <laughs> just stop. Listen, nobody wants to know, nobody cares about the $1000 scarf you just bought in Arizona. There's a difference though. <laughs> if you live in Alaska, that would make fucking sense. It's not for function though. Okay. It's not a warm scarf. No, it's not. But if it's a scarf that you wanted. It's an accessory. If, if it's a scarf that you wanted and you were going to use it, okay, use it then. <laughs> but like, motherfucker, in Arizona, you wear a scarf to go to the pool? Make that make sense. Who's wearing scarves to go to the pool? I've seen some crazy shit out here. Usually girls buy those scarves to like wrap around their their purse handle. It's like an accessory on a purse. That could be that, that could be kind of fire. One hundred percent. I'm saying or, when a guy's wearing it as a. I've seen the scarves or like not the I don't bandana wanna, thing. Not a bit, but a, 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 let me make sure I pronounce it right. A uh, a hub a job. I think I, I hope Hajib, I pronounce. I think. Hajab. I think I hope I pronounce that correctly. Aww. But uh, you know, I, I I see it. I've seen it in people when the people are in uh, uh, Dubai or whatnot. They have like the Louis Vuitton. Right. You know. Scarf or, or bandit? I don't. I don't think it's called a bandana, but that looks nice. Uh-huh. I I was like, oh shit, that brother right there, swaggy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But like out here, like you know, if it's you know a scarf that you're going to the to the bar with, like in 120 degree weather, like, bro, are you okay? Like what? I'm gonna say it's fashion. No, bro, that ain't fashion. It's just so they can have something that says. Dior or Louis Vuitton, and that's why you get a bag. You know the bags. So are you fine. think a shoulder bag? Hundred percent. I fuck with. Sh- I, listen, I fuck with shoulder. If if I had a Christian it's Dior functional. shoulder bag, see that yes. makes sense. Coin purses. What are you doing? 
a crossbody. I like that. I like crossbodies. I fuck with crossbodies. I like bodies. that. My, listen, my big my I, I'm I want a Christian Dior crossbody. You know what I mean? But I don't want you know one that can just. I want a good one. You know, I want one of them big saddle bags. You know right. what I'm saying? And I think those are functional because you can put your stuff in right. it. Right. You know, if you're a person that likes to keep a lot, a lot of stuff on you, but you don't have, you wear shorts, you know, like don't have deep Hoochie pockets. daddies without the pocket. Hundred percent, perfect. And that's me. So that's functional. Hundred percent functional. Coin purses not functional. Tiny bags not functional. No. And the scarf is probably almost close to the same price, if not a little bit less. Way less. Is it? Is it is you it, think it? a scarf is the same as a saddle bag? You just never know nowadays. You crazy. Saddle bag is like four. No, like four thousand, five thousand. I don't know. I'm pretty sure like four or five thousand dollars. A good saddle bag. Scarf maybe like a hundred, eight hundred. No, I thought you said a hundred. I did I was initially. Like, no, eight hundred, nine hundred. I need you to look up these prices before you. I don't speak be stepping into it. them stores. You know what I mean? If if it's up to me, I'm gonna go over to Ross or TJ Maxx <laughs> or Coach or 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 Coach. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll dabble if if, if I'm feeling splurgy. I go over to that Burberry. You know what I'm saying? Splurgy. You know what I'm saying? You know, if I got a little extra change in my pocket, I go over to that Burberry. I feel, if I'm really feeling, you know, funky, I hit. When have I, you ever gone to Burberry? I, I feel, oh, uh, like three weeks ago. And? I ain't buying nothing. Exactly. Yeah, but I was looking. If I'm feeling splurgy. I want. I wanted to go in there. Look, listen, the, the first time I, the only time that I'm going to buy some Burberry is when I'm preparing for a baby shower or a gender reveal. Mm. Yeah. I'm going I'm to have to get the whole the, Burberry fit. The classic. Classic. I'm about to have a kid fit. Classic. Burberry Gender slides. Gender reveal fit. Oh, my God. Burberry shorts. Burberry button down. Maybe a Burberry scarf. And glasses. Why not? All for the attention. It's no, crazy. no, no. It's just me and my girl at the time we're going to be matching Burberry. What girl? I don't know. Exactly. A beautiful, nice young lady in Florida is waiting for me to come home. <laughs> and that right, baby. Don't worry. I'll be there. Give me like three more years. <clears throat> Maybe four. All right. I'll be there next week. My advice, don't wait around. <laughs> Why you had to do that? Why would anyone want to wait around? You just never know. My love could be so so passionate that they want to wait for it. Exactly. You ain't never experienced no shit like that. Nobody waiting around for you. That's for sure. That they are. Who? I got multiple exes coming back. Why you are you mean? single? Because I don't want it. Oh, but well, they're exes, so that's fair. Why are you single? Because I don't go back but, to but motherfuckers the same time, that though, cheat on me. Yeah, but are, are you entertaining them, though? Uh, listen, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Right there. I'm gonna say this. Good night. No, let me say da, one thing. Da, 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 da. There is nothing. There is only a couple feelings that I enjoy in life. Revenge is one of them. <laughs> no. Number, number one is that pre-fuck energy when a man is trying to impress you. Okay. And he's just acting amazing he's on his best fucking behavior okay that them on the best that behavior. feeling phenomenal and the second is this when a man knows he fucked up and how good you were to him and he tries to come back and that energy he gives where he's like yeah i fucked up you were so this that and the third and damn if i didn't mess up we'd still be together and blah 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 and then they try to make up for the fuck shit they did i accept that shit mm. those two feelings Mm. Ain't nothing better. Mm. That's all I got to say. I think the best feeling when it comes to relationships in terms of the past coming back to you is like when they hit you up, be like, hey, how you doing? To me, it's just like. No, they always do that. But I, I enjoy that because it's just like you couldn't live with your own failure. So where has that brought <laughs> your to you? Your own failure? They you, fucked up? You couldn't live with your own Not failure. Not you. Where has that brought to you? And this, ladies and gentlemen, back is why I never hit up. Anyone from the past. That has brought you back to me. Just for it to be fail again. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> it's just not going nowhere. <laughs> I don't uh, I don't spin the block, you know? Stop lying. Yes, you do. I don't hit up exes. Yeah, but you... They hit me up. But you do, you do little tendencies. I don't go. I don't you go. do tendencies so you make sure they hit you up. I don't up. go. Like what? I don't know. Maybe view their stories. No. God. I got offense stuff for that very reason. You're not about to see my name on your shit. Okay, we don't but you are still looking though, huh? But you no. Still, you just said you had offense stuff. If, if I need to go look for some shit, my name is not going to appear on that shit. That's a fact. I don't be looking no more. Shut up. <laughs> uh, our podcast <laughs> Instagram determined that shit's a lie. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't looked at I see who you be looking at. <laughs> I, haven't yeah. looked, I haven't looked at that profile in a Shut long up. time. <laughs> 
cut the clip. Cut the, cut the episode. It's over. <laughs>